Welcome to Keto on the Couch with Rachel and Joe. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome to the more than 100 new subscribers since the last Keto on the Couch. Now here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So I cannot believe it. This is the last Keto on the Couch, which is actually Keto on the Bench. It is the last Keto on the Couch for 2019. It is the last Keto on the Couch for 2019. It's the end of a decade. I, I cannot even believe this. So earlier today, I was waiting for Rachel to get home and I was like, hey, you know, new year. We've got plans for a lot of awesome videos over the next couple weeks. I'm so excited. Just a little warning, if you've been around for our, ch our channel for a while or if you've been doing keto for a while, for the next week, at least week or two weeks, we're going to be interspersing some videos of like how to get started because yeah. there's a lot of people who like are just starting keto for the first time now. And there's a lot of people who are like, hey, what do I need to do to change things up to maybe refocus my body to yep. like give myself a jump start on the new year? So we're going to be doing that. Getting back to basics. Back to yo. the basics. And the first video or one of the first videos we're going to do is how to use chronometer. Because yeah. so many people are like, hey, I want to track Ugh. my food, but I don't know what to do. Chronometer. So I was waiting for Rachel and I was filming this video on how to do chronometer, which should come out later on in this week. And uh, I was talking about it being the new year. And I was like, wow, it's 2020. I feel like it was just yesterday we were saying like, it's going to be the year 2000 and we were all freaking out about computers. I will say that I think 2020 sounds like a fake year. It's not a year. It's a news program with Hugh Downs and Barbara Walters. Good evening. I'm Hugh Downs. And I'm Barbara Walters. And this is 2020. And that is what it is. Do you remember where you were in the year 2000? Like when the clock struck midnight in the year 2000? Yes, I do. Where were you? So I was in a one-bedroom condo. I was an associate youth pastor okay. and I had the brilliant idea of inviting like 25 of our youth group, like teenagers to like sleep over, have like a lock-in at, at the condo. Was the lock-in in case we didn't have any computers and electricity got shut down or I anything I didn't else? even think about that. And we were living in just outside of Washington DC where everybody was stressed out. But right. for whatever reason, I totally like flaked out and, and, and had everyone there. And right about like, I don't know, 11.38 p.m., I thought, maybe this was a bad idea. If the computers go down like they've been threatening to go down, what are we going to do? So the Florida girl in me just started filling the bathtub with water. Whatever happens, as long as there's a bathtub full of water, we'll be fine. We'll be good. Well, I'll tell you where I was. And if you think that the idea that you had was kind of silly, my idea was even worse. Now, again, I'm sure pretty much everybody watching this channel remembers the year 2000 and the panic over, you know, Y2K. Yeah. I was driving home from New York to Florida. Uh, in on New Year's Eve into, into New Year's with my sister and John Paul. Who's a baby. Who is a baby. A baby man. Anthony wasn't born yet. And yes, that is what I was doing. And I and I remember it was such a nightmare of a trip because as I was getting ready to leave my mom and dad, I misplaced my debit card. Oh my lord. Which turned out to be in their washing machine. I'd left it in pocket. But now I'm driving home from New York to Florida. I don't have my debit card to get any cash out of the bank before the clock strikes midnight. Oh my like, goodness. And like, what a nightmare. And then I remember exactly where we were because we were so, my mom was panicked. Like, what if the computers go out and you are going to be driving on the road? <laughs> like, remember people were worried about even cars shutting, shutting down, down because they're worried about the computers and stuff. Like we were going to go Amish. I remember that. It was, oh my, it was like, it was like yesterday. That's what made me think about it today. It's just amazing to think that we're 20 years later already. And we're still it here. It went like that. The computers are all working. I will say this. I weigh less than I did I weigh, 20 years ago. I weigh a lot less than, less than I did back then. I feel better. 
than I did 20 years ago. Me too. And I'm very hope, much more hopeful for the future than I was 20 years ago. So go figure. Yeah. So let's talk about our week a little bit. We had Christmas this week. Look at my cool Christmas present. It's Baby Yoda. I'm using my pickle mug. Thank you to my brother and sister-in-law who got me the cutest thing ever. So it was Christmas this week, and uh, we did. I miss live streaming. I don't know about you. Oh my goodness, yes. Every day at five o'clock, I'm like, where? I'm supposed to be someplace. Right. I'm missing some. Something. Something's missing. So if you're new to our channel, if you've just joined us in the last week, for the first 24 days of the month of December, we live streamed. We did 12 straight days of, uh, two, 12 days of Christmas. I'm not even thinking right. 12, 12 days, days of Christmas. Of keto. It was the 12 days of keto. We did giveaways every single day, and we are definitely going to be repeating that next year yeah then we did 12 days of serving where we went out and did different things like buy coffee for somebody give somebody a homeless care pack i don't know which one i like better i had fun with both of them it was awesome and you guys were incredible the yes. things that you came up with to bless others around you it was amazing yeah uh, just amazing so the 24 days straight of live streaming it was awesome because we got to talk to you guys every single day and I didn't have any video editing to do. Yeah. Because it was like hit play, make sure the microphones are working, which we weren't always that good at that. I was so afraid everybody would get sick of our face. I know. <laughs> but we did that and then now for the last five days I've been like, what are we gonna do? So I sent you this picture that I think explains every like December. So December 1st through 26th, festive. After that, you're just like wandering around. What day is it? What time is it? Right? Like you're totally messed up. And even though we have the Christmas background, from one kiddo couch to the other, it, it went from being like holly jolly exciting to like, oh, that's sad. Yeah. Christmas lights after Christmas. That's sad. And the thing is, I was telling Rachel this the other day. Christmas is that thing, right? We had 24 straight days leading up to Christmas, live streaming every day, getting in the Christmas spirit. Buying you know, stuff. Buying wrapping stuff, stuff, wrapping stuff. Christmas comes, the next day comes, and it's like, huh, now what? That's over. It's like, it's over. It's well, like, now I got a lot of crap to put you away. You spend all of this time building up the anticipation for this incredible day, especially when it's in the middle of the week, like it was this year. Right. And then all of a sudden, gone. And now we gotta wait 364 more days. But here's the thing, the way that everybody, we all got to be together through the live streaming and all of the things that we got to taste and all the things that we got to do to serve others, I feel like we sucked the marrow out of the holiday season. Yes. I really do. Like, I can't remember a time when I enjoyed the holiday more. Yeah. It really put everything in perspective, even if I'd be in traffic and I'd be like, man, I'm not happy right now. It was okay because I knew I was going to get to talk to you guys yep. and we were going to like focus on the good. Yeah. And that was exciting. Yeah. And we, I really did enjoy doing the 24 straight days of live, especially because I didn't have video editing Yeah, <laughs> and talking to you guys. But, but that so second, we are going to be doing more live streaming. Uh, we're probably going to one day this week kind of pop on, but we don't have anything scheduled or planned. So just watch, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and also hit the little bell icon for the notification. And once we have that, I'll put a thing in the community tab of what day. It's not going to be like an hour or something like that. But we're trying to figure out our schedule for this week because we've taken the last few days to the family stuff. Yeah. So the 24th, we did go to see Star Wars and it was awesome. It was awesome. We're not going to spill any beans on it. No spoiler, but it I'm is I'm not going to awesome. say it was the most incredible Star Wars, but it was better than a lot of the ones that we've had in recent years. I loved it. It's but, still not as good as Empire Strikes Back. But we will we'll wait a little bit to talk about it because yeah. we don't want to spoil it for anybody. But then we had our Christmas Eve service. And thank you, Lord. It was good weather. It was cool, breezy. Yeah. Super very windy. Un-Florida-like. Yeah. It was delightful. And I think we had about 3,000 people there. It yeah. was amazing. Um, and then we had Christmas. Yeah, so we got up on Christmas morning. Uh, Rachel wanted to sleep in a little bit, so she slept in for about 10 extra minutes and then went to help her mom. <laughs> yeah. And Anthony and I went up to Wawa, and it was really awesome. Uh, we bought seven cards. We actually bought eight. 
uh, $5 gift cards, and we gave everybody that was working a $5 gift card. Just to buy them lunch. Just to buy them lunch, because it stinks they had to work on Christmas. It does stink. But what was really awesome about it was not the giving it to them. I mean, it was awesome to give it to them and see their faces, and they were excited. Yeah. But when I handed it to one lady, there was another guy who was online, and he was like, what an incredible idea. And so he then went and bought some stuff for everybody there. I love and, it. And so the fact that we did that and we did it in front of people, there were and there was somebody else who said, like, I need to go do something for somebody now. Like, what a great way to celebrate this holiday. I love that because good is contagious. Yeah. Right? I mean, we always think about, like, misery loves company and, like, you know, it's a snowball effect, a shame spiral, you know, all that but good is contagious too. Yeah. And when we do good things, we can continue doing this. It doesn't have to be like, well, December's over. So, yeah. you know, let's let's have a whole decade. And that's actually what happened it. was we ha I had bought eight gift cards for $5, but there were only seven people working. So I had it sitting in my truck. And then there was a mom who I was talking to today and, you know, she's recently lost her job. And so I was like, hey, do you guys go to Wawa? She's like, we love that's Wawa, but it's like our favorite. It's a treat. And so I gave her the $5 gift card and she was able to take the kids to get a drink and stuff. I love that. So that was Christmas. Yeah. Now we did try to vlog on Christmas. It we, didn't work out. We started off in the morning. I didn't even tell you this part. So we started off in the morning. I've got this awesome new vlogging camera that an incredible person gave me. And we're like, okay, we're going to use it on Christmas. Let's do this. <clears throat> but I've never really learned how to use it completely. But it's really cool because it's got a gimbal built in and everything. And so Rachel and I did like our three, four minute like, hey, it's Christmas, hey, this is what we're gonna do. Only it's also a camera and there's only two buttons on this thing. So when you hit the button one time, it makes a camera mode. When you hit it again, it makes it video mode. And then, but then if you double tap it, it does something. If you triple tap it, it does something else. Well, I guess when I double tapped it to turn it around, I actually only single tapped it. And so that whole four, five minute monologue of us talking. We were just talking to a picture? It was a picture. Oh, nice. So <laughs> it was probably good though, because it was it allowed us to focus on the family for Christmas instead of trying to sneak vlog and everything else. It's funny because we talked about being Christmas present, yep. being present for Christmas, but like we were about to be guilty of not being present. And it was awesome because we had steaks. First of all, it was really good because Rachel's mom has the same Blackstone griddle that I have. Where has that been all of our life? It, it's just awesome. We're going to do a video on the Blackstone. That thing is so worth it. It is so awesome. No mess inside. Yeah. No, like, smoke and bacon and, I mean. Especially for us, because every got over there, and she had all of this bacon. I don't know how many pounds of bacon she had. A lot. And Enough so for Rachel. Anthony took over, which was really nice, because it gave Nanny a break from cooking for breakfast. Mm -hmm. And he went out, and he cooked bacon for everybody. Sausage. He cooked sausage for everybody. He was making eggs for anybody who wanted. Most people just wanted bacon and sausage. Yeah. He was making that, and we made biscuits inside. We did some pork belly. We made some pork belly, and then I ran home, because we only live around the corner, and I made some of the keto chow drop biscuits, Again. which is awesome. I had Where not has made that them. Been? I've made my own biscuits, which were really good, but I was like, oh, I don't have a lot of time. I meant to, forgot to make keto biscuits. What's super simple? Keto chow drop biscuits with the chicken soup, the chicken soup keto chow. Those were crazy good. Like literally 30 seconds to mix up, 15, 20 minutes in the oven. So they were flavorful. done. Super flavorful. So we had those. So that was really nice. And I got then to play, presents. I got to play Santa. You got to play Santa. Which I loved. It was funny because like Miriam from Keto Chow had talked about how they do like one kid at a time. You wanna make sure that everybody gets to see the present getting opened and don't worry about how long it takes because you wanna enjoy this day. Still didn't work quite that well, but Stretched it was out better. Way better. It was better than the past. Way better. <laughs> My dad would like toss them, you know, like he was handing out, you know. It was dealing cards. Yeah. And then after five minutes, he was like, Hurry up. When are you gonna be done? When are, it's time, it's let's like go. We gotta start cleaning up. <laughs> we're like racing to finish Christmas. It's like, dude, we've been shopping for this for like five months. And it's bad enough now when you have all these older kids and less presents because everything is like a video game. Right. There's not like a ton of toys. There's not a lot of five dollar gifts. There's not a whole lot of like, oh my gosh, look at this car set. Let me set it up right now before I open up the next present. Right, no. So so that was nice. We had a, a lovely dinner. We'd steak. 
And yes, I had is, burgers, which was awesome. Oh yeah, you had burgers. Yep. Um, and then the next day we were planning on getting up and buying all of our Ziploc bags and paper plates and deodorant and razors. But when we got home, we got home from Christmas, went to open up the garage door and the spring broke on the garage door. No bueno, because we knew that was going to be about a $300 fix. Yeah. And we were like, that's our deodorant budget. I think we're spending our deodorant budget on the garage door, which we did. But mm. thankfully... This gentleman came and fixed it the very next day. Yeah, what was really was awesome is I called one place and they're like, oh, we can come today. And I'm like, how much is it? And he's like, I well, he's like, it depends on the spring. It's going to be anywhere between 100 to $250 per spring. And you have to change both springs. And he's like, and it's like $89 to come out. But if you do use us, we take off that $89. I'm like, so in other words, it's anywhere between 150 and $500. And he's and like, yes. Quite a range. And I'm like, okay, when can you be here? And he's like, I don't know, three to five o'clock. I'm like, well, we've got plans this afternoon because I had to go cut the church. And I'm like, we have plans this afternoon to go shopping with the kids to get some more Christmas presents because we cut down on their Christmas presents so we can take them shopping. Right. So I called another place. I called Broughton Garage Door. And they're like, if it's the Springs, flat price. It's one hundred and seventy nine dollars for one, two hundred and eighty for the uh, for two of them. I like that. And we can be out there in fifteen minutes. I'm like, deal. Get out Done. here, fix them. They were awesome. Yep. Then we went to the mall. When we got home from work, we went to the mall, which was crazy. Which was crazier than Black Friday. Yeah, I did not expect it to be that busy because we were going in the evening. Yeah. But the lines were. It was ridiculous. Daunting. We walked out of the mall buying one thing. Yeah, but at least <laughs> an hour and a half, one thing. At least we got shoes. It was yeah. shoes. Caleb needed new sneakers. Right. They were. So his, we went to the Nike His store. were terrible, yep. and we got. Some really nice shoes for $35, which is crazy cheap. Yeah. So the rest of the week, we just spent some time relaxing together. Uh, we did a little bit of filming, but not too much filming. Our food was awesome because with that Blackstone, every day was bacon, eggs, ground beef, and burgers all cooked outside. So we almost no never mess. had any cleaning in the kitchen. That makes everything better. You need to learn how to use that thing because I've got that thing so seasoned. Is it that so easy? You never even, well, Rachel can like do I it? said, we're going to do a video on how to use the Blackstone, but I've got that thing so seasoned, no butter, nothing, and the eggs just slide around on there. And I've got, of course it's me, so I gotta have all the gadgets. I got the hard top. I've got like the little dome that you put on there so you can put your burger on there, put the dome on, squirt a little bit of water and get all the cheese to melt. Look at I've you. got the little egg rings. I mean, Fancy. I've gotta have every accessory when I buy something. But oh my Lord. How many other people are like that? When you buy something, you have to have every accessory that goes with it. When I the, can't be the only person who's like that. When the kids were little, it would be like one action figure. No, we have to buy the whole series. Yeah. Oh, I was even the same way with Rachel. Like, she would be like, I like those pants. Okay, we're going to get them in every, every single color. color there is. Everything there That's is. just how I am. My dad was like that. But so the food has been really good this week. And again, no cleaning. So I have to tell you, if you are looking for something, again, we're going to do a video on it. That thing is awesome. After buying a smoker, buy that. You'll never have to cook in the house, especially if you have the cover over your patio or something. My like mom that. said it was worth it to not have all of the drama at Christmas. Just yeah. take that outside and bring the food in. It was great. It, it kept her house clean because, you know, in preparation of everybody coming over, you're, you're cleaning your guts out, you know, right. and you don't want to spend the next two days cleaning up after you know, the aftermath. And then on Friday, you got to hang out with your girlfriends. I did. So every year, me and two girls that I went to high school with always meet up when everybody's down visiting their families. And we go to lunch and just catch up. And it was so awesome. Every year we go to the Cheesecake Factory. And the Cheesecake Factory doesn't care if you just like want to bring your pajama pants and sleep over. They're she went at like 12 and I was like, at six o'clock, I'm like, when are you coming home? Like, how has the restaurant not kicked you out yet? Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> Like, we have to be there for four hours. But I love them. It is the war and peace of menus. That's true. If they don't have it, you don't need it. And they are totally accommodating. I mean, they will take every sauce off. They will put everything on the side. They have really nice portions. Like, it is worth it. I would not think Cheesecake Factory is, like, a restaurant to go to, but they're awesome. Super accommodating. Um, but anyway, so we met up. 
And now we are all keto. Yeah. So in fact, Beth and Debbie. They're all in our Facebook group. And it was nice to talk about some of the things that, that they've struggled with, overcome this year. They both look fantastic. And Beth's mom is on keto and Debbie's dad is on keto. So it was just nice to talk about how hopeful we are, not just for our own lives, but also for our family's lives, our parents, you know? Yeah. So that was our week. Now we're back on Sunday. Finished up our series, our Christmas series at church this week with like what Christmas is for, being for Jesus. And now uh, we never did get any footage of the kids in the snow. It was hard. We don't want to have pictures of children. Right. So it was hard to remember like before or after. How do I like, a yeah. How do I set up and get the snow? So we never did that. Sorry about cool. that. Take our word for it. It was cool. But... Yeah, so we have to set up for next week's series and with another holiday this week. We didn't want to have to go in this week, so Rachel stayed a little late. So we're filming Keto on the Couch at 6 o'clock at night on Sunday. I don't, I don't know how people do it not keto. I don't. Like, how is my, I, I mean, I Up was, since 3 a.m. Serious. Oh, and by the way, I'm still fasted. Look at you. I'm fasted yet. I, I haven't had, eaten yet. I had a couple eggs this morning because I knew it was going to be a long day. But I was trying to see, like, how many steps did I do today? Because this it's not a huge campus, but I felt like I was walking. Yes, 17,263 steps. Well, good job. Well, we're going to add on to that because what we did for Christmas, we decided that instead of, like, buying each other a bunch of presents and clothes and everything else, we don't need a lot of clothes, I'm going to be decorating or not decorating, renovating um, our spare bedroom so that Rachel has like a little prayer room slash office. A lady lair. A lady lair. And then what we did was we got ourselves un tickets for Universal Studios. So we haven't been there in We haven't been there in years. Ever. And we started off with buying like the cheapest season tickets because I was just going to get like a day pass because we're like, when are we going to have time to go there? And going to make time now. And I was looking and as a Florida resident for a park for one day – to go to both parks on the same day because you want to be able to do like the Harry Potter rides. So you got to do both parks. It was $174. And I'm like, wait a second. It's only $220 for an annual pass. P.S. It, pay, it costs 30 plus dollars to park. Yeah. So what we am were, I going to do with my car? We were getting that $230 annual pass, but it doesn't include parking because we're like, okay, we only have to go twice to pay for it. So we ended up getting the better pass that includes parking because we're like, if we go three times... We pay for the tickets and cover the difference between them. So we're tomorrow, calculating. don't ask me why we're doing this, but we are going to go to Universal Studios on one of the busiest days of the year, which is tomorrow, December 30th. Let's just do it. But we've got a, our tickets let us in an hour early and after four o'clock, we get express passes so we don't have to wait on lines. When if we find something keto, we'll let you know. Yeah, so we're going to vlog a little bit for that. And the best part about it is, I don't, this was supposed to be our getaway. And then Anthony, our 19 year old says, you know, I don't know what I want for Christmas. Can you like split a universal ticket with me? And I'm like, what? And he was like, I'd really like to just hang out at universal studios with you. I was like, oh. I'm like, okay, so much for the date weekends because Parent our 19 year old wants to hang out with us still. Make so, it so. And Caleb wants to, but he's just got such a busy schedule. And His he's college like, and work schedule is crazy. He's like, I don't want to like, get a ticket as my birthday Christmas present and then I don't ever get to go. Right. So it's kind of bum, but we're going to take him, our pass will at least give us a discount. So like sometime when he has maybe a break or something like that, we can take him. Yeah, because That'll this be break's cool. almost over. I can't believe the break's almost over. So that has been our week. So we are, we're going to get up at 4 a.m., drive to Orlando. We're going to try to vlog a little bit without getting Anthony in too much, but I told him, got to understand Sorry. We're vlogging because everybody wants vlogging, to see, how do you vlogging, do keto vlogging. in Universal Studios? We're going to try. We're going to try. We're going to have to come up with a butterbeer recipe. Yes. Because I know that's not keto. And I've I'm... already got one. I just haven't fix, fixed it yet. Like, I I know how to make butterbeer and I can easily turn it into keto. I just have to sit, get into the kitchen and mess with it. Okay, get in the kitchen and mess with it. Because Universal Studios or not, I want to drink a butter beer while I'm watching Harry Potter. Well, unfortunately, unless I can do it in the next 24 hours, that is going to have to wait because we're about to do 30 days of no food. Just keto chow and keto bread. 
That's true. So I did want to say, um, we got a couple of giveaways we got to do. We're going to do them in a second. Yay. So if you're new to our channel, every year in the month of January, we fast for God. We give up something. Yeah. And every year it's something different. One year, Rachel just gave up all food and just did one slim fast shake a day. Yeah. Um, I've done, so we've done social media. We've fasted, like I've fasted soda. Um, I've fasted candy or sugar or anything like that. So this year we're fasting. The thing that we enjoy most, eating food. Because I love chewing. <laughs> so what we're doing for the entire month of January, with the exception of when we go to keto, um, the Keto Summit in Omaha, right. which I cannot believe in, is in two weeks or less than two weeks. That is crazy talk. So except for when we go there, we're fasting food. And what we're doing is the only thing we will be eating is keto bricks and keto chow. That's mm -hmm. all we can have. We're going to maintain the calories that we're trying to maintain at, which for me is about 1,850. For Rachel, it's about 1,450. So we're going to stick to our calories, but that is all we're going to have. Um, so it's not really a challenge for us. It's no. more of a fast for us. But I know a lot of people have said they wanted to join us. You don't have to do keto chow. Nope. You don't have to do keto brick. You don't have to do it for the whole month. You can do it for 10 days, 21 days. Um, but think about doing something. They say it takes three weeks to break a habit. So why not start the new year? Something that's been irking you. Maybe you want to try total carbs instead of net carbs. Maybe you want to try to go like a couple of weeks with no sweeteners. Right. Maybe you want to see if you can do just, 30 days of carnivore. There you go. Three day, three meals a day, but no snacks. Yeah. Whatever you do, it's forward momentum. That's right. And it's a great way to start the year. Yeah. So let us know down in the comments if you're going to participate and what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. But what we did decide was we were going to start off with since we happen to have some extra yay we're doing a giveaway from our final live stream which was on christmas eve mm -hmm. and um hopefully we get the winner of this one so what we've got we got seven keto bricks it's uh one of every flavor and then i think two is what let's go over the flavors so we've got a coconut cream two of the original mocha cookies and cream a cinnamon crunch peanut butter and the pumpkin pie, which by the way, peanut butter just relaunched today. It's which so good. You know, yesterday for you guys. And in addition, we've got an eggnog, we've got two chocolate, and a salted caramel keto chow. So it can get you started. To get you started if you want to do keto chow, keto bricks. So we're going to pick the winner from that live stream. So let's uh, get over there. Pick the winner. I need to record this screen. Okay, so we already have the URL here, so we're gonna go ahead and hit fetch. How many people? Anything goes. And there are 77 comments on I that I like day. that number. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, here we go. So we're it. gonna go pick a winner. The winner is Crafty Lady. Crafty Lady. And she wrote, I've had a real Christmas season because of your videos this month. Enjoyed every one of them. So funny and yet so informative. If I can get an order in for some keto breaks, I'm hoping to do the January eating plan with you. Yay. Awesome. Wishing you and your family a blessed and Merry Christmas. Well, Merry Christmas, Crafty Lady. And here's what you need to do. You need to send us an email at twocrazyketos at gmail.com with your shipping information and we will ship this right out to you. You're doing this with us now in addition if you want to move this to the side i'm going to move this over here okay so in addition to that we have this so we gave this actually away on we're blocked you got to turn it down because mm -hmm. it's in your face they're like that so there you go so so on december 19th we announced we were going to give this away we've got a bag of keto chow or it's uh, the classic flavor bundle. We've got a Cuisinart immersion blender and our 2KK bottle. We did we picked it off of the December 19th uh, live streams. We picked it on Christmas Eve. The winner has not contacted us. We can't let it sit. So we are going to re-give it away because it's sitting here and we're not gonna not give it away. Not all. So here's what we're gonna do. On this video, leave a comment down below. We will draw the winner based on today's comments or the comments that are left on this video on next week's keto on the couch let's do it so all you have to do subscribe to the channel <clears throat> hit the like button leave a comment down below any comment you want to leave uh, if you don't want to please put hey i don't want to win i don't want your stinking cuisinart and so just leave that down below and then next week's keto on the couch we will give away the cuisinart the keto chow bundle and this so sound awesome. good? Sounds good to me. Okay, let's get into some comments and some subscriber of the week. My favorite. Okay. So I've got it here. 
so that we can kind of look up there and do it and I don't have to keep looking down. So our subscriber of the week is actually Melanie. Hey, Melanie. And um, we've talked about Melanie before, but she put up a little thing and Melanie also has a YouTube channel. Oh, awesome. It's Princess Ninja and I'm gonna leave a link for it right over Rachel's head. I highly encourage you to go check out her YouTube channel. She's basically been documenting her weight loss journey over the last year. Mm -hmm. uh, very, I'll give her this, she was better than us because on her very first video, or one of her first videos, she bared it all in a tank top like bra. I wish I had done Have that. Have you seen her video yet? Yes, it's amazing. And I, I give her so much credit for just putting everything out there and going, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing, what I look like now, and document herself on the way. And so I applaud her for that because so we awesome. still won't do that. So. I, well, I mean, it's how, on those days where you're like, man, how have I come far? You need that, yeah. right? So that you can look back. That's why we're always saying take photos, take videos of yourself. Like you're going to want to remember this yeah. and why you're doing this. So if you want some encouragement to go, go check out her video because you can't watch that and not be encouraged and inspired to stay on your ketogenic journey. She's incredible. Also, today, or actually tomorrow, tomorrow when we're filming this, but today if you're watching this on the day it's released, is her 50th birthday. We gotta do it. So we gotta sing happy birthday to Melanie. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Melanie. Happy birthday to you and many more. Yes. So you even got me to sing and I never sang. So she is starting a whole new decade of her life in a whole new decade. Looking completely different. So she put up just a little tidbit on our Facebook family group and I just wanted to read it. She wrote, turning 50 next week like a boss, 30 pounds to go. Next, I'm going to begin strength training and toning keto on. Man. And here's her pictures. And I'm going to show you. She put up this picture with that post. And Gorgeous. what an incredible difference, right? Yeah. Well, I had to do a little bit of digging into her Facebook because I know that's not even what she looks like. And so I found some older pictures. Here's an old picture from four years ago of her. Sorry, wow. Melanie, but I had to dig through your Facebook a little bit. But you've had too drastic of a transformation to not share this picture from four years ago what? to this. Wow. Wow. So congratulations, Melanie. Happy birthday and continue inspiring people because I got news for you. You're inspiring me. You're amazing. You are amazing. And we're going to stick with this just because you're sticking with this. That's right. So guys, if you're new to our channel, we have a Facebook family group. It's a great place. Over a thousand people in there who are inspiring each other, who are sharing recipes, sharing deals they found, just lifting each other out of the dumps and, and just getting each other to continue having this journey together as a family. And we highly encourage you, go join the Facebook family group. It's completely free. There's just awesome people in there. And share your stories because your story is going to impact somebody. Like Melanie's story is going to impact someone because she took the courage to share that story. Someone is gonna start keto. Someone's gonna be like, hey, I can do this because she can do it. Yeah. And that's what we want you guys to do. Absolute best people in the world. Yep. And just PS, thank you for those days when I'm down in the dumps and you guys really lift me up. So let's get into the comments. Okay, so we've got Ellen. Hey, Ellen. And Ellen wrote, I am never going off a of keto again. I learned my lesson. Ditto. <laughs> we've been there. We've done that. Bought the t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry about it. I mean, that's the nice thing about keto is you, can, you go off a of keto, whether it was by accident or on purpose. Next day is a new day. Just get going right back where you were before. Get back on that wagon. Parrothead Renee wrote. Hey, Renee. So funny, I've gotten so used to you guys live. As I was starting the video, I was thinking to myself a couple times, Joe's getting really behind on the comments. Then I remembered, it's keto on the couch. Oh, oh my goodness. Thank you for being with us through this whole live stream. Yes, so if you're new to our channel during our live streams, a lot of times we get a little behind on the comments. We try to read every comment. Really behind. And then we have some people like Chris from Keto Chow who thinks it's funny to just randomly put things in to make us get further behind, but hey, it's a lot it of fun. Going? Yeah, it's awesome. it is a lot of fun. So that is funny. I that, that, that read reading that and I was like, wow, like. That would be me. Mama Cox wrote. Hey, Mama Cox. I'm just curious, what kind of smoker do you have? I want to get my husband a smoker for Christmas, but I don't know what to get. Well, it's after Christmas, but we have the Pit Boss smoker 
and I absolutely love it. He I mean, there's that a, thing. a lot of different companies out there. If you're going to get a smoker, number one, get a pellet smoker, mm -hmm. whether it be like an upright or the one like the smoker grill like I have. Uh, but what's nice about the pellet smokers, they're set it and forget it. Remember the old romp appeal commercials? Set it and forget it. I'll put it in the machine. I'll slide it back. Put up the window. You set it and forget it. Right. Yeah, there's set it and forget it. I mean, all you have to do is you put the meat in there, put your meat probe in there, set it to whatever temperature, like 220, 230, 240 degrees, and you just let it go until the meat's done. It automatically feeds the pellets. It keeps everything the right temperature. The fact that I can use it is testimony enough. Yeah, if you haven't seen that video, we have a video where Rachel actually smoked ribs all by herself, and they came out awesome. <laughs> all by myself. So yeah, so any kind of pellet smoker is good. I like the Pit Boss over the Traeger, which is the, you know, like the name, the, brand. the name brand. Well, Pit Boss is the name brand now too, but you know, Traeger was the first one. That's why they, they're so well recognized. Mm -hmm. They're also super expensive. So for what I paid for my big giant one, you get a little tiny, like 200, 300 square foot Traeger. Mine's got all of the bells and whistles for the same price as the little tiny one that they sell. Uh, it comes with a better warranty. It's a five-year warranty. It's easier to put together. They have incredible customer service. Really no downside. And you can get it at Walmart and at Lowe's. But I can tell you, like, I've had a couple things where, like, my grates cracked because something was wrong with them. Great customer service. Sent me brand new grates within a week. And then my, my barrel actually started rusting a little spot. They're like, we're going to send you a brand new barrel. So can't you can't that. complain about, no. like the, the com especially by the way, where they said the that rust on the barrel isn't even covered by warranty normally, and they're still covering it, no questions asked. So I highly recommend them, uh, but Rack Tech makes a really good grill. Mm -hmm. But just for the money, you can't beat the Pit Boss. And it also allows you to actually get a flame broil because you can open up the, pot, the, the flame cup. Which I really like, yeah. on the hamburgers especially. So hopefully that helps for any of you, but again, it's incredible smoker, but make sure you're getting a pellet smoker. That's the biggest thing I'm gonna suggest. So Anahee wrote, Hey Anahee. I kept hearing something as I was watching your video and I kept hitting pause to try to figure out what it was. It wasn't until I got to the end of the video that I figured out the noise I kept hearing was Rachel's earrings. Oh my gosh, cause I had jingle bells on. I'm sorry, that's probably super annoying. <laughs> I was thinking it was gonna be the bird. Because it's always the People bird. do comment every once in a while if they're new to our channel and they're like, can you guys please change the battery on your smoke alarm? So if it's you're new to that. our channel, we have an African gray and uh, he knows every sound, including the smoke detector needs a battery change and he'll record it. Now we're in a different room now, so you don't get it as much, but sometimes if we're in the kitchen, yeah, you'll start hearing like a chirping. That's the parrot. It's not our neglect. <laughs> Annie Val wrote. Hey, Annie Val. Come, Joe. This sounds like keto bartering. I love it. So that's in reference to, we mentioned last week on Keto on the Couch that, you know, a lot of people have products that maybe they got that are keto uh, that they don't like or right. they, you know, want to just give them to somebody else. So we're thinking about maybe setting up something where you guys can trade it or sell it or give it away. And so she's responding to that. I'd like to trade for all the bacon. <laughs> I want all of it. So slap a stick wrote. Hey, Christopher. I have plenty of keto stuff that I'd like to trade for other foods. Is it bacon? <laughs> I want all the bacon. Hungry Heath wrote. Hey, Heath. I love the idea of a 2KK family swap meet section. That way, Rachel can send me all of her grape zip fizz. Oh, Caleb just leaned in and went, mm-mm. Like, grape is terrible. Uh-uh. Grape is mine. No, grape is terrible. We got to get it out of the house. No, I don't want it contaminating no. I other love flavors. Grape. Kevin wrote. Hey, Kevin. I'm starting carnivore and one keto chow shake daily for the month of January. Nice. Keto on. Well, thank you for joining us. Yes. Way to keto Melanie wrote. Hey, Melanie. I'm going to go with no snacking for 30 days. I know I can do it. That is brilliant. I know you can do it too. And yeah. it's something that I struggle with also, especially like getting out of the holidays. I got back into snacking. Yeah. So I'm excited that in the new year is going to be snack free zone. So Katie wrote, Hey Katie. Loved having this episode and the live to listen to on my two and a half hour drive home tonight. Wow. I totally agree with the thoughts that the other members have expressed to the awesome vibe in this group. I love the many different nuances we bring to the table and I love that we can all celebrate milestones and accomplishments together. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and may we all see our blessings this coming new year. Traditions have gone to the wayside, sort of looking for ways to make some with my grandkids. 
I will be out in the woods metal detecting since we already had Christmas with the kids. And I love the idea of a good steak for Christmas. I cannot wait to see what she finds in the new year. I love seeing Katie doing the metal detecting thing. I want a metal detector. Yeah. P.S. Like, I should have put that on my Christmas list because that thing is awesome. Um, but, yeah, everybody brings something unique and special to the group. Yep. But the overall vibe is just encouragement. That's Which what we I like about love. it. I love. I just love you guys. That is why we started. And again, if you're not a member of our Facebook family group, please go join. And, and you know, all we ask is everybody to be polite, be encouraging. That's all we ask for. I'm glad we don't have to do life alone. That's right. So Audrey wrote. Hey, Audrey. We normally do steak, but this year we had Cornish hens and keto cupcakes for Christmas. Ooh, nice. My mom loves Cornish game hens. So how do you cook yours? She loves it in the air fryer. Oh, okay. Hope wrote, hey, Hope. steak for Christmas sounds great. It was delicious. Stephanie wrote, hey, Stephanie. We do non-traditional meals, especially being keto. I'm making a pork loin for supper, and knowing that there will be leftovers, I'm going to make some dressing-flavored uh, chaffles for Christmas and have pork loin sandwiches for lunch that day. Wow. That's awesome. Now I want that. Nicole wrote, hey, Nicole. We're doing steaks, too. New Seasons also did some beautiful marinated pork chops, so Christmas Eve day is covered with deliciousness. Mm. Mama Cox wrote, Hey, Mama Cox. Yep, you're a weirdo. No steak. I love burgers, but steak wins the battle. Steak wins. That's because if you're new to our channel or didn't see last week, I'm not a huge steak eater. I much prefer a good burger. Talk about crazy keto. Steak wins. <laughs> Tara wrote, Hey, Tara. I'm sorry, Joe. I love burgers, but they never beat steak. No. That was like that Parks and Recreation thing where uh, Ron Swanson is up against uh, that, is it Chris Traeger? But anyway, that, that guy is like coming up with like this burger and he's got all of these things that he's added to it. And Ron Swanson just puts up just a plain old burger. I humbly place before you my East Meets West patented Traeger turkey burger made with Willow Farms organic turkey a toasted Telegio cheese crisp, papaya chutney, black truffle aioli, and microgreens on a gluten-free brioche bun. This tastes as delicious as Beyonce smells. I love the umami flavor. Here's mine. It's a hamburger made out of meat on a bun with nothing. Ron, I thought that you and I were gonna have a real challenge. Never mind, this is better. Way better. Mm, yep. Oh my God, it's so much better, it's crazy. Turkey can never beat cow, Chris. Sorry. This is better. Ellen wrote, Hey, Ellen. I love burgers, too. I agree with Joe. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. Tara also wrote, We're having ham for Christmas because that's what my sister requested. I have ribeyes on the menu for Christmas Eve. Oh, yes. Have a plan, right? Have a plan to work steak in. Don't leave steak out. Work it in somehow. <laughs> Okay, last one. Rachel wrote. Hey, Rachel. Oh, Rachel. We've had these sitting oh, yeah. in our lap. We forgot about this. So Rachel gave us these awesome shirts for Christmas. Balls. Balls. And unfortunately, we didn't get to the mailbox till after Christmas to pick them up. That's okay. I'm going to wear it all the time. I am definitely wearing because these. Because balls. Because they say balls. So Rachel, thank you very much. These are awesome. That was so awesome. Thank you. So let's read her comment. Rachel wrote, I've been contemplating whether or not to allow myself a cheat day for Christmas. My mother-in-law makes the most delicious cheesecake and treats and really the only cheat I was looking forward to. I asked her if she would make a crustless version with Lakanto sugar so I didn't have to go off plan and she pretty much laughed in my face and told me a little sugar mm. wasn't going to kill me. Yikes. That was my deciding factor to stick to the plan and not let others influence my health decisions. Merry Christmas, everyone. Well, balls. <laughs> <laughs> That's like disappointing. It is really disappointing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that she did that. But you know what? At the same point, I'm really proud of you yeah. for making the decision. You know what? If they're not going to accommodate me, I'm going to stick to my guns and I'm going to do it this way. Rachel, you're awesome. Yeah. You know, on the side note, though, I don't understand... And a lot of people do this. Mm -hmm. Why people feel like sugar is okay. Just it's okay if you have just a little bit of sugar. I mean, would people say that? We've talked about this before to like a recovering alcoholic. Or if I just kick smoking. Yeah, or if you just One kick cigarette. smoking. I mean, like, is it okay to go to somebody who quit smoking or an alcoholic or an, an, a recovering addict and say like, just have a little bit. It won't kill you. Well, sugar 
is my poison. Well, and it's taken me a lot of time and a lot of energy and a lot of willpower to work it out of my life. Right. So I really don't want to work it back in. Right. I've been in a little nook or cranny of my life. And I mean, one of the reasons we talk about this all the time, like that we don't have like off plan days, why we don't go off plan for a holiday or something like that is because I personally am an addict. Yeah. Okay, I'm addicted to the carbs, and that's what got me to be 285 pounds. Didn't just happen to me. And I know that if I were to have one of those days, there is a good chance I'm not going to recover in a day or in a meal. I'm going to be doing that for weeks. Yeah. And so I made the plan, because I'm addicted to that kind of food, to just never eat it again. Man. Well, I just want you to know we love you, and we're super proud of you. And even if there's people in your family, in your workplace, wherever, whatever your realm is, that don't support you, don't be discouraged. Yep. Because we are super proud of you and, and we want to encourage you and we're excited for 2020. Yeah. And we can end it right there with step number one. If you're new to our channel, False. if you're new to keto, False. step number one of what to do to get started ignore what everybody else says. Yeah. This is your body, this is your life, you know what you're working for and don't worry because you're gonna have the haters who say, this is a bad diet, this is a bad idea, you're never gonna be able to get rid of carbs. You worry about you and ignore everybody else. Yeah, just put your just put your, your hand right over your cup, no haterade yeah. in here. Just no, it's blocked. I'm and putting, if you do need encouragement, blocking it. come to us. Yeah. Join our Facebook family group, make sure you subscribe to our channel, and we'll keep you encouraged your entire journey. Yeah. So that is this week's Keto on the Couch. We will see everybody in the new year. See you next year. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon in that way. Every single time we say, Balls. Oh, balls. You'll be alerted to it. Until next week. Bye. bye.